am not going to uh, try to um, give you his words, but what I will tell you is that as Commonwealth's attorney, I know the impact on the criminal justice system when health care does not work mm -hmm. and is kept from a community. I know when you don't have appropriate health care for your community, then relatives get sick and they may call the police and tempers get frayed and emotions run high. And the next thing you know, as we have all seen, the family called because there was a psychiatric emergency and someone is dead on the street. We know that when people don't get the appropriate care and there's not a hospital in their community, that they are hiding under eaves and under bridges and taking drugs that they shouldn't take that they can get on the street to self-medicate and they are not being seen by the appropriate people. And the federal government has a lot of money. And the federal government gave Bon Secours a lot of that money with the understanding that certain things would be done. And those things have not been done. And that money has been diverted. And it has hurt the Churchill community and it has hurt the greater Richmond community. And there is a connection between ineffective, minimized health care and the criminal justice system. And so what I would say is that we are past the time for a Band-Aid. We need a hospital. Yes. We are past the time for a Band-Aid. We need <coughs> expertise in Churchill for all of the medical attention that Churchill deserves. We are past the time for a Band-Aid with this little project and that little project. It is time for a full hospital with all of the resources that Churchill needs in Churchill. I support everything that the coalition is doing and I just want to thank you all for the support you have given me through a very difficult past two months. Thank you.